drive across here? I don't know. Hi, my name is Hester Malnay, and I'm going to be talking about whether or not you might actually be able to drive across a lava flow, and uh, whether and how accurate Dante's Peak is geologically. Question about driving across a lava flow is whether or not your tires would actually melt. Um, and they probably would. So lava flows, when they're first extruded, are about 1,200 degrees Celsius, and when they cool down to that black color, uh, they're about 700 degrees Celsius. Now truck tires uh, light on fire at about 538 degrees Celsius, and they start melting at 400 degrees Celsius. So even if it was that black color, unless it had had some time to cool, uh, they would probably light on fire and or burn. Um, so the length of time it would take to get the lava flow temperature, the surface temperature, down to a temperature where it wouldn't actually melt your tires, it would definitely take a lot longer uh, than Pierce Brosnan allowed. According to this graph, um, it would take at least 300 seconds, if not more. You can see that that still hasn't really crossed the 400 degree mark. Uh, so you're even after 300 seconds, your tires would still be melting, although they would not be lit on fire. Clip: uh, The truck tire had punched through the top crust of the lava flow and had gone down into the molten lava beneath it. So how thick would a lava flow, uh, how thick would the crust have to be in order to support a truck? So it turns out that there are several different equations, um, several different models for modeling the crust thickness of lava flows and how long it would take to establish a certain crust thickness. This is one of the more simple ones. Uh, and as you can see, we could actually calculate how thick the crust would get and how long that would take. And so if we just did some basic physics, we could take the weight of a your average utility truck, which is about 2,700 kilograms, and we could look at the force uh, that it exerted upon the crust of the lava flow, as well as the molten lava underneath it. Uh, 